For those that have won, I'll ask you this. What did you win? Did you win the confidence of the people or you won intimidation and fear of the people? Did you win the belief of the people or you won their disbelief in what Nigeria has become sadly? Did you win the trust of the people or you won the discontent of the people? Did you truly win them over or you won chaos on the streets? Did you truly win the affirmation of the people or you won the coercion of the people? Did you really win the togetherness of the people or you won the division of the people because of your own innate selfish benefits? Did you truly win the love of the people or you won the disgust of the people? So I ask again, for all of those that won by coercing the people, what did you win, I ask you? One day we'll come, we'll grow old, we'll be in our dying beds, and we'll take a panoramic view of our lives. Would you truly say that this was a moment you were proud of? Would you truly tell your children that this is a moment I can bequeath to you as my legacy? Would you truly say it was a sweet victory? Because after all is said and done, life will have stripped you to bare knuckle. It will be a preparation to meet your maker and you will take a panoramic view of your life. You've got nothing to hide or no shame. You are no longer who you used to be. It is going to be you and your conscience. What will you say to yourself about this moment? And that's why today should be a time of introspection. I believe Nigeria can heal despite the brokenness in the country today. But for us to heal, we need to tell ourselves the truth. And for those that did win in a clean way, that got the affirmation of the people, continue to do your good work. Continue to win the trust of the people. But in all of this, have we truly won togetherness?